when you publish your dashboard, who can actually see it? All right, here we are for another Tableau video, and I actually haven't recorded in like a month. A whole month I haven't recorded. That's the longest I haven't recorded in maybe two years. So I really needed a break because, um, you know, doing a full-time job and recording and, you know, planning to buy a house at the moment and living in, you know, uh, Melbourne, Australia. We're in our sixth, sixth lockdown. So we're just trying to kind of keep things going. It's been tough, but we're all getting there. I know a lot of people have had it way tougher. So, you know, hopefully everyone's staying safe and, you know, um, just trying to ride out the storm. I guess. So this question has actually come from, and maybe actually, you know, I'll bring it over. Uh, here we go. It comes from Hirkana Adventures and is, and the question is, can I publish Tableau dashboard to view by anyone with a URL? So this is kind of like a multi-layer question, um, Hirkani. Uh, let me bring that over. Okay. So there's kind of two ways you can publish. All right, so I'm going to start with the first one. And the first one is if you're publishing to your own private Tableau online site, right? So if you don't know too much about that, I have heaps of videos on, you know, building an online site. Uh, and it's like your digital marketplace for where all your dashboards go. But in a nutshell, what happens is when you, when you buy your first license ever, you can build an online platform and anything you create gets published there and then everyone, anyone can consume it. So the question is, who is this anyone? Well, when you build a site, and usually what happens is, I've just got Superstore up here. When you go server, publish workbook, uh, and I think I'm signed in, so let me sign out for a second. All right, and then we're going to go uh, server, publish workbook. You're gonna get this, and you're gonna get this create site. And then this site is your private site. The only people that can access that site is anyone you give explicit access to. And the way you do that is, I'm not going to show you here, but on the online platform, it's basically you add an email and then you invite them. That person needs to have a Tableau online license that they've purchased, and then, then they can actually use the software. So that is basically private, which means if you're in an organization and you know all the people in your organization have license keys for the Tableau online part, then only your organization can see it. Makes sense. You don't want just anyone seeing it. But what happens if you're just starting Tableau, you know, starting the journey and you've only got like, you know, two licenses in the whole company, right? How do you actually share the information? So here's a little bit of a hack that you can do if you're just starting up or if it's for people who don't necessarily need a permanent license. They just want to see something, you know, every, every quarter or, you know, they don't really want to do a lot of work. They just want to see a few results. What you do, uh, I'm going to bring over a, the Tableau online site. I've got one here. Okay, let me just minimize this. There we go. All right, so this is just a Tableau Online site and I published that uh, dashboard that you just saw. And basically what you do is you click this subscribe button right here. Um, this may change actually in the coming, I think weeks, possibly, there's another Tableau Online update. So who knows what they're gonna change in this one, but it's all, they always do good stuff. Um, so if you click the subscribe button, you can pretty much put yourself for the subscription. So the way subscription works is um, you set a timer for when the visualization gets sent to you. So the usefulness with this is, let's say, you know, new information or new data gets generated, that gets pushed to Tableau online, all the dashboards refresh. If you wanna understand more about that, drop me a, a comment and I'll explain Tableau bridge and automation and all that. But um, the, the data updates and then the dashboard updates and you can set it for this to happen after that update so that all the users who have subscribed to it get an email saying, here are the latest results. What you can do is you put yourself here. So you go subscribe me, you set up for daily or whatever, and you get an email. Then what you do is in your email, whether you're using Outlook or Gmail or Yahoo, or I don't know, all the other emails and stuff. Um, you set it to automatically forward to anyone else that needs to see the visualization. And in the email, what you usually get is just a collection of screenshots of each of these sheets. That's it. And then you just forward that. The disadvantage is they can't click on the picture, which will lead them to Tableau online. That's the only disadvantage. But if they're only interested in a few figures, they probably don't want to do that. 
All right, so that is basically the first section. Drop a comment if that still doesn't make sense. Tableau Online for most people who've never really done it before or who haven't worked with uh, business intelligence tools, it's quite a lot to kind of get. So I'm happy to do heaps of videos on this if, um, if that does make sense. The other one is Tableau Public. Now Tableau Public, it's sort of in the name, it's publicly available. So I always say this warning, if you're gonna publish to Tableau Public, make sure you haven't got any sensitive information in there. So how does it work? I've got this dashboard, I go server. Instead of going publish workbook, go Tableau Public. I'm using Tableau uh, Desktop, by the way, uh, for this part. Uh, so you go Tableau Public and you go save to Tableau Public. And what that does is, I just got Tableau Public over here. I'm gonna bring this over. All my browsers are not sized properly. I don't know what happened. Maybe I was doing something else. I don't know, maybe YouTube or something like that. So this is Tableau Public. And what Tableau Public is, is an online community where literally anyone with a Tableau a Tableau software that's built to visualization can publish here. And then anyone who just signs up for free can actually see it. That's why I say be careful with what you publish here. For these visualizations, right? Let's say this was one I built, right? And I grabbed this link. I can give that to anyone on the planet and they'll be able to see this. All right, so that is the difference between your private site and Tableau Public. Again, if it still doesn't make sense, let me know. Be specific of which part you don't understand, and I can do a specific video on that if you need it. Right, so that's it for this video. Um, I'm so glad to be back doing videos again. I uh, had a good break. I'm going to try and start getting into it again. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. New videos three times a week. And what else can I say? See you next time.